achieve the African Union's vision for an integrated, prosperous and peaceful Africa driven by its own citizens and representing a dynamic force in the global arena, Africa must invest in its greatest resource. Its people. The Department of Human Resources, Science and Technology coordinates and implements the African Union's agenda on human resource development, promoting science and technology for development and investing in Africa's youth demographic. Its mandate is delivered through its three divisions, namely the Human Resource and Youth Development Division, the Education Division and the Science and Technology Division. Over 83 million children are still out of school. Can you imagine the figure? It is staggering. At the same time, it is threatening. So we need to work on our educational systems. Every child should have the opportunity to go to school. It is a fundamental right. It is not an option. It is not an obligation. It should be a right. Whether you use the education for something else is another point of discussion. But what is fundamental is that we should be able to read and write. People are talking about that there is no job. There are jobs, but we don't have skilled people for it. So our education system should speak to the future of work. And to speak to the future of work is to make sure you have the right curricula now that can speak to the future of work. We know about Agenda 2063 and the vision of Agenda 2063. And Agenda 2063 as the blueprint of the Africa we want by 2063. And it's divided into five phases because it's 50 years. It's the first phase is the first 10 years. And under these first 10 years, we have three strategies within the department. The science, technology, innovation, strategy for Africa 2024 is under the division of science, technology and innovation and is a strategy developed by the Africans themselves for the Africa we want. Because if we speak transformation, if we speak technology, if we speak education, if we speak portable water, electricity, good health, etc., it is science and technology. That is why we have STISA 2024. In addition to the overarching STISA strategy, the African Union is implementing several Agenda 2063 flagship projects aimed at advancing higher education and integration and use of science and technology to promote industrialization and economic growth, namely the African Virtual and E-University, which promotes the use of ICT-based programs to increase access to tertiary and continuing education in Africa by reaching large numbers of students and professionals in multiple sites simultaneously. It aims to develop relevant and high-quality open, distance and e-learning resources to offer students guaranteed access to the university from anywhere in the world at any time, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The Outer Space Strategy, which aims to strengthen Africa's use of outer space and satellite technologies to bolster its development across various fields including agriculture, disaster management, remote sensing, climate forecasting, banking and finance, as well as defence and security, and to develop a regional market for space products in Africa. Space is a very important sector for, uh, for this continent, and as a matter of fact for the whole world. Uh, space is an area where we can do investment in space, we can develop technology that we never thought about. When we say science for science is undertaking some scientific research that we have no idea what will be the outcome. And space is one of those. When uh, the president of the US, John Kennedy, decided back in the 60s to go to the moon, he had no idea what type of technology will accrue with that particular portion. And today, our daily lives, each and everyone is pretty much affected by technology coming out of space. At the level of the continent, uh, our head of states have realized the importance of that element. That's why they came up with the outer space flagship of Africa. How can space benefit African agriculture foresters? If you take uh, all what we are talking about, precision agriculture, uh, 
the use of um, prediction so 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 that you can uh, predict your harvest these are just few elements the management of natural resources whether it's water land resources the mapping etc uh, uh, other elements like even disease control all those are elements that space science can contribute in terms of it. and in addition to that i was before I came here, I was talking about the single African air market, which is also related to the issue of navigation and, and, and positioning. Uh, if today we are having planes that are landing softer than before because of the advances in satellite navigation. So all those, I think, are really, uh, I should say, Things that are coming from the investment in space. And um, the African continent is really looking forward and is geared really to further investing in space by, by of course, putting in place the African Space Agency, which will be based in uh, Egypt, to ensure that Africa can really benefit from the technology, the space technology, space science that will be happening. Creating opportunities for development, growth and self-actualization for Africa's youth is one of the key aspirations of Agenda 2063, which emphasizes the importance of Africa's development being inclusive, people-driven and relying on the potential of all African people, especially its women and youth, and caring for children. The HRST department implements various programs targeting young people and key of these initiatives is the 1 million by 2021 program, which aims to reach 1 million young people in Africa by creating opportunities for them around the four E's of employment, entrepreneurship, education and engagement. What is the vision behind the 1 million by 2021 initiative? It is that vision that before our mandate ends by 2021, we should be able to empower, capacitate at least 1 million youth by 2021 in four key areas, which we refer to as the four E's. The E of education, the E of employment, the E of entrepreneurship, and the E of engagement. Engagement with the youth is very important. It is good to know their mental balance and what they think and what they want. And that is why that engagement is there. And that engagement does not only end in just discussing with them, but also attaching them to mentors, because we believe in mentorship and leadership. If we say that the youth are the future of tomorrow, that future begins today. And they must be given the space to start existing within whatever we are doing today. We also speak about TVET is one of the clusters of, of the Continental Education Strategy for Africa. TVET opportunities at both secondary and tertiary levels and you see this year, we signed last year an MOU with World Skills, World Skills. And then now we told them that, can you make a World Skills Africa? So that also we can enhance TVET training. Because what is at the battle of many parents is that, I don't want my child to do TVET, TVET is for the low class. No, TVET is for those who can actually create and innovate. So it should be for the best of minds. So we need people to get into TVET. The HRST department also coordinates the activities of several technical institutions. The AU Scientific, Technical and Research Commission, which implements the AU Science, Technology and Innovation Strategy for Africa and promotes African research activities, including entrenching the culture of use of scientific and technological research. The African Observatory of Science, Technology and Innovation, which champions the use of science, technology and innovation to support sustainable development in Africa. The Pan-African University, which promotes higher education and research focusing on technology, innovation, humanities, social sciences, governance and regional integration. 
the International Center for Girls and Women's Education in Africa, which works to promote the education of girls and women so as to empower them to achieve their economic, social and cultural ambitions. And the Pan-African Institute for Education for Development, African Observatory for Education, which aims to promote quality, responsive and inclusive education development by ensuring African countries have a robust and functional education management information system. Find out more about Agenda 2063 and the work of the African Union in promoting youth empowerment, education, science and technology by visiting www.au.int.